I'm Dr. Paul Nguyen. I'm a radiation oncologist at the Dana-Farber Brigham Women's Cancer Center in Boston, and uh, I'm on staff at Harvard Medical School. So I'm an associate editor at European Urology Oncology. Here at ASCO GU 2019, I am the chair of the program committee, which is the committee that comes up with the program and the speakers and uh, all of the abstracts that were presented this year. It's been a great meeting, just fantastic. This year we had uh, the highest attendance ever for ASCO GU. Already last year it was a very high attendance at around 4,300 folks, and this year we even broke that record and got up to 4,400. Uh, and this is now the biggest subspecialty meeting for ASCO. So ASCO GU is the number one subspecialty meeting now. So it's, uh, it's been wonderful. On the scientific side, we had tremendous phase three trials being reported in the oral abstract session. Uh, the prostate we have in the, in the renal and, and the bladder. Uh, we even have late breaking abstracts that, that came out that uh, are talking about new agents. You saw what Kareem Fazazi did. Uh, with his two studies with uh, Aramis and Latitude, and then there was a late-breaking abstract on Arches uh, as well in the Phase three session, and that was just great for the meeting, a great draw for everyone. Well, uh, I think that there were some pretty important take-homes in terms of the importance of multidisciplinary care. That's one thing that we always emphasize here. Uh, this year, as usual, we had many international speakers coming in, which represents the kind of folks that are coming to the meeting. Um, but every one of our sessions is multidisciplinary, and that's a key part of care. I think on the scientific side, um, you know, with the, with the late-breaking abstracts, I think it'll be very interesting to see uh, how ARCHES evolves, the role of enzalutamide in metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer. I think that the data are very intriguing. Um, I think we'll have to see a little bit more uh, follow up in terms of other endpoints there. Um, and as you've discussed with Kareem Fazazi now, the darolutamide data from the uh, Aramis study I think is gonna be very interesting as well. Well, I think there were studies that were pretty interesting as well, besides the big three phase three trials that were presented. Dr. Sharma presented on Nevo and Ipi in uh, metastatic uh, cancer-resistant prostate cancer and showed some signal in certain subgroups, which I think is very exciting where we hadn't really seen much of a signal before. So I think that's gonna open the door to more studies down the road. And then Dr. Howard Scher showed a very interesting analysis of uh, CTC0, which is basically having zero circulating tumor cells at week 13 compared to, week, uh, compared to time zero, and showing how that might actually be potentially a surrogate for overall survival. So we might have a, another endpoint that we can use in trials. So I think those were two fantastic take-homes that came out outside of the big phase three trials. Very happy with it. I'm extremely grateful to all the faculty that gave amazing talks, all the presenters who submitted their best data to make this a successful meeting, and of course the ASCO staff. They worked incredibly hard.